Greetings all, I'm Propagandist and I'm bringing you another anime review today, this time of something other than Ruby or Girls on Panzer. Today we're looking at a little short film called The Garden of Words. Now, this came out in 2013 so it's not new and it's a drama slash romance kind of genre. It was directed by a guy called Makoto Shinkai of Comics Wave Films, so a few little uh, bits of information for you there. But, um, you know, I found this recently in HMV. I always, you know, go into the anime section sometimes just to look for stuff that looks interesting. And I picked this one up because it looked kind of interesting, basically. So, a few quick points before I start. I'm on the left, as always, so that I can uh, put some image uh, overlays on the right. Of course, given the copyright issues that I had with my uh, Girls and Panzer Anzio review, OVA, OVA review, uh, you know, there will not be any actual video footage from the work in question, uh, you know, just so I can avoid any risk of being, uh, well, of having the video copyright blocked. Um, I know that technically, of course, this is not Bandai Visual who are responsible for this one, as far as I'm aware, but having said that, you know, I really don't want to take unnecessary risks anymore after, um, you know, my original Girls and Panther video got blocked. So, yeah. There'll be no actual uh, footage then, but there will be, you know, static images which I overlay frequently throughout the video, in, you know, to try and compensate for that. So hopefully that's not uh, disappointing for all you folks uh, out there watching. Also, I will of course be glancing away from the camera towards my screen very frequently because I have a short sort of script of notes uh, that I want things that I basically want to talk about in this review. So, you know, I don't want to, you know, forget anything or anything like that. So I've put together a Word document essentially. So I picked this up recently on DVD, as, uh, as, um, as I said, mainly because the art style caught my eye and it looked very interesting. Plus, you know, I kind of want to do a variety of content here on uh, Propagandist, as well as just Ruby and Girls and Panzer. And there's lots of anime out there, and I'm really sort of starting to get into the, uh, into the medium. So, you know, what better place to start, really? Now, of course, this review will contain a few sort of spoilers about what goes on in the film, so if you're intending to uh, watch it for yourself, then you might want to navigate away from this video about now. So, you know, if you're not concerned about spoilers, though, feel free to uh, continue watching and we will get straight into things. So The Garden of Words take pla uh, takes place in modern-day Kanto in Japan, and it focuses on two principal characters. So you have 15-year-old Takao and 27-year-old Yukino. So Takao is a high school student and aspiring shoemaker who lives with his older brother. Now, their family life is difficult. Their mother drinks and dates younger men, and there is no father in the picture, suggesting marriage difficulties or hard times of some kind. So Takao loves shoemaking as he loves creating things, and he despises school because he regards it most, well, he regards most of his fellow students as being little more than children. So on rainy days, Takao skips school and he heads to the park where he spends his time designing shoes. By chance, he encounters Yukino one day, and in subsequent visits to the park during the rainy season, he encounters her more and more often. She learns about him and his motivations. He reveals that he yearns to live in a world where he has purpose, like Yukino's world of work, which he uh, perceives to be one of purpose. But as the story progresses, it becomes apparent that Yukino has her own problems. She drinks too, something Takao does pick up on. Later on, Takao finds out she has resigned from her workplace, but for reasons that are not initially made clear to him. So, he increasingly hints that he feels a need to help her learn how to walk forward, quote-unquote, in spite of her problems. But then the rainy season ends, and as summer rolls around, Takao finds himself having to attend school more often, or work part-time in order to make ends meet, particularly after his older brother moves out. So Takao and Yukino thus find themselves apart from each other for a while. It is then that Takao finally begins to learn more about who Yukino actually is, after encountering her by chance in the school corridors, and it turns out that Yukino was a teacher at his school, only she's been driven out of her job by uh, the actions of some mean-spirited upperclassmen. After Yukino takes him back to her apartment, Takao admits that he has fallen in love with her, but in a saddening twist, Yukino reveals that she will be moving away back to her hometown. She thanks Takao for helping her to find her way forward. A dejected Takao then leaves, but then Yukino tries to go after him, and he has a humiliated outburst, believing that Yukino has essentially led him on, that she's just been using him for her own benefit. But a visibly upset Yukino cuts him off and tells him that he has saved her from her problems. So later, as the summer turns to winter, Takao reveals that he still thinks of Yukino, and in a final scene after the credits, he returns to the park in winter and leaves a pair of completed shoes on the park bench where Yukino once sat. There, he states that he has realised he was simply learning 
to walk forward against his own problems too, and that although he thinks the path will be difficult, he does believe that he will see Yukino again someday. So, overall, that's the kind of summary of the plot of the film. And the film is quite short, it's only about 46 minutes or so, but it is a nice heartfelt little story of two souls fighting to find their way forward against the problems of their personal lives, at least that's how I interpreted it. So apart from the story, there were a number of particular elements that I liked about this short film. First and foremost is the art style. From the moment the film opens, I couldn't help but admire the beauty in the aesthetic, in the animation. I mean, just look at the water shots for a start. I'll throw some images up on the screen right about now. Admittedly, I might be no great artist or expert of uh, Japanese art styles, but some of the detail and design in the environments is so beautiful and shows that a lot of love and effort went into it. Now, added to that is a lovely, predominantly piano-based soundtrack. The piano tunes just help to convey the emotion and the feelings alongside the careful choice of colour in the different scenes. As someone who enjoys classical piano pieces like Moonlight Sonata or Nocturne, the decision by the production staff at Comics Bay Films uh, to use piano music was, in my opinion, a very good choice. And it, it's one that works very well with the storyline and the artistic style. Now obviously some of you might be wondering if uh, The Garden of Words comes with English voice acting as an alternative. It does indeed, at least my DVD copy does. And I watched it in English when I was, uh, you know, watching it in preparation to get some notes and you know for this review. Of course some anime purists out there might insist that I should have watched it in the original Japanese but I you know, like I said in some of my uh, recent Girls and Panzer reviews I personally am not too bothered about language. In fact I thought the English voice actors in the Garden of Words were rather decent for what they were so if you prefer English over Japanese then that might be a plus for you. Alternatively of course if you're not really into English dubs at all then don't worry about that you can always just watch it in the original Japanese probably. So overall, I found The Garden of Words to be an enjoyable and emotional little film. One thing to bear in mind, there is a small amount of strong language, so parents looking for something suitable for a younger viewer might want to bear that in mind. My DVD copy is rated 12, though, so the strong language isn't particularly frequent, and overall the film is still suitable for a wide range of audiences. The only reason I flagged this up is just so that, you know, some people might see it as a bit of a negative so I might as well just mention it now and you know you all out there listening to this can make your own decision on it. So that, that pretty much uh, does it for this short concise review of The Garden of Words. To give a summary, beautiful artwork, lovely piano based soundtrack, nice voice acting, heartfelt plot, it all combines to make this an enjoyable film and something that's worth taking a look at if you have uh, you know some spare time. Obviously it's only 46 minutes so it does rattle along fairly quickly, but it does what it wants to do. It says what it sets out to say, you know, done and dusted, finished. So that's, uh, you know, pretty much the summary of The Garden of Words which I had in mind. So thank you for watching then everybody and hopefully you found this review interesting. Hopefully this could be the start of a, uh, you know, series of, you know, one-off anime reviews that I do from time to time. Something to complement my current content on Ruby and uh, Girls and Panzer. Of course there's lots of other stuff that people have recommended to me so if ever I get a chance I will have a look at some uh, other franchises out there. So once again hope you all enjoyed. Now of course um, as usual with these kind of outros uh, if, you've never, if you've never encountered me before Propagandist is my second channel. My main channel is called General Red Strategist. It's a gaming channel uh, where I basically do gaming content. So if you're interested in that kind of thing you can all go and check that out. There's a link to it in the video description as well as on the Propagandist channel page. There are also a couple of social media links associated with it. Again, you'll find them in the video description. If you want to check those out, feel free to do so. But other than that, thank you once again, everybody, and goodbye.